everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a couple sneakers. The first one is a sneaker that had some buzz and then it flopped. And you could actually walk in the store right now and get this sneaker in certain sizes, of course that is. And we're also going to take a look at a sneaker that's set to come out later this month, I believe. August the 24th, I believe. And the sneaker is already on sneakers app. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneakers we're going to look at today. Do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with a new video. And if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. Helps the channel grow. And since we doing all that good stuff, I need you to look in that description box. There's a couple of uh, different links in there. Gonna help you save some money on certain things and go shopping, you know, get your little fresh gear on and all that good stuff. Now, the first sneaker that I mentioned, uh, you probably know what it is because you've seen the hundreds of videos on YouTube on it. You see it's the black and red Jordan 1 box. Yep, I got sucked down that rabbit hole. That's the box label. I said I wasn't going to get these as I was holding on hope that I was going to get this pair in the high OG. But this is the paper and y'all know what sneaker I'm talking about. The black toe John 1 low. Nice materials on it. I did get a good pair. Look how wrinkled it is right there. But the the back heel man it out. That's what I don't particularly care for. That's why I wasn't really big on getting these, but once they start to set and I was able to get them under retail, why not? You know, so let me know what y'all think of these. Uh it's a clean shoe, it's just that I prefer the high OGs better. The difference is these are lows and the tongue is black. The tongue is actually white on the high OGs, but these are, uh, the tongue is black. Comes with the extra laces, black laces. Uh, nice sneaker. I just prefer the highs better. That's the only, uh, my only issue with these and the matted out back heel. And that's pretty much it for that sneaker. So we're gonna take a look at what we came here for. Y'all see that blacked out box? Y'all see that logo right there? Y'all know what time it is. Yes, we got them here. That's the box label. And it reads, Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro, and the color is white, white, white. We have a side 15 things. Yep, side 15 v Nards. And uh, I'm not sure what the retail price on these is going to be, but this is the paper, white paper, and here we go. Let's get them out of the box and take a detailed look at the Kobe 8 Pro Tro Halo. Here we go, guys. We have the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Tro. White, 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 guys. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Do you plan to purchase this when it releases later on in this month of August? We actually have a Kobe day coming up the day after his would-be 45th birthday on August the 24th. It's Kobe's day. His birthday is actually August the 23rd. But basically an all-white sneaker on the uh, fly knit upper. You have a uh, embroidered Nike swoosh right there. You do have his signature right there on the heel. And also his logo right there on the midsole. And you do have that embossed uh, snake skin or the Mamba snake skin on that midsole right there. You have some indentions on this heel back here going around. I believe this says something. I don't recall what it says, but I'm speaking of this right here. Looking at the outsole, this is the outsole of the Kobe 8s. You got that Mambo right there on the heel. You got that, you got that from the Jordan 11s. 
look at the heel of the sneaker and go on to the medial side you do have another embroidered nike swoosh right there on the ankle more of that fly knit material you got that again we got some emblems right here pretty much an all white sneaker plain all white leather tongue you have the speed white laces and of course you got that mamba logo or black mamba logo up top come stuffed with tissue take a look at the inside you do have the mamba logo on the insert let's see does it come out uh, it seems to be glued down you do have a white sock liner kind of satin feeling uh, and let's see size and tag size and tag is right here on the inside ankle let's see can we read that uh side 15 and the production date it appears to be february 1st of 2023 to april the 8th of 2023 so a couple months of production with these at the time of recording the video i'm not sure what the stock numbers are going to be on these but uh i like Kobe's. this pair is a nice labor day is coming up just in time august 24th these releasing just in time for the all white parties the quote unquote deadline to wear all white clothing not sure where that came from but that's what's going on in the community you can't wear all white after labor day comment below let me know your thoughts on that but you can wear this at the all white labor day party on the boats but there's a lot of different Kobe's coming out. I'll see if I can put a, a picture right there. There's a couple pair that I want out of the collection. So just let me know your thoughts on the Kobe day and the Kobe sneakers. Are you guys actually wearing the Kobe's? Or are you just getting them to flip them? I'd like to hear your story and I'm gonna get out of here. But before I do, like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it'll be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.